Let's begin with CNN's Suzanne Malveaux, who just spoke with the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. What is she saying about Bill Barr, Barr's role in all this? Because we see repeated efforts here, it appears, not to follow the whistleblower mm -hmm. law. Well, that's absolutely right, Jim, because what she is saying this morning is that they're not only looking at an alleged cover-up by the president, but also a cover-up of a cover-up. That is how she is describing the role of the Attorney General Barr here, and that, of course, there would be a great deal of interest in his role in all of this going before the House Intelligence Committee. Um, I spoke with her, and she is very much aware of the weight of this moment. She knows that she has more than the majority of Democrats on board, at least for the inquiry, but not necessarily for articles of impeachment. There is also a sense of urgency here that people uh, want to move this forward as quickly as possible. She did not commit to a timetable, but there's been a lot of discussion, at least from the members, of potentially trying to wrap this up by the Thanksgiving break. And she talked about the various levels of this impeachment investigation. Just take a listen. Can you give us a timetable in terms of when the committee no. plans to wrap up before Thanksgiving? No, I mean, it's up to the committee. They will do the work that they're set out to do, following the facts and the time that it takes to find the facts. As you know, you never know where we're going next. Now I think we're getting involved in the cover-up of the cover-up, and that may be something that will take some time to uh, investigate. Do you believe that the Attorney General must go and testify before the impeachment inquiry? You mentioned the cover-up of the cover-up, and, and that he is uh, essentially potentially a part of that. Well, let me just say the committee will make their own announcements about who they are calling in to, to be witnesses. I do think the attorney general has gone rogue. He has for a long time now. And since he was mentioned in all of this, it's curious that he would be making decisions about how the complaint would be handled. And are you worried about the security of the, of the sources of the whistleblower, yes, the very, president? I'm very worried about it. I think what the president said goes beyond irresponsible. It's dangerous. Uh, whistleblowers have an important role to play in unfolding, wrong, uh, revealing wrongdoing in our government. Uh, if, if their complaint has been deemed by the inspector general as credible and also of urgent concern, and therefore sent to the Director of National Intelligence. The law says this, uh, the Director must send it to Congress. The White House intervened, the executive branch intervened, and held him back from doing that. I feel sad for him because he's a respected professional. But for the President to say what he said about those who may have supplied information to the whistleblower seriously undermines integrity in government. But the President does that almost every day. And what she's referring to is the fact that the president before some Foreign Service um, leaders and workers uh, essentially said that he considered the sources of the whistleblower to be a, a spies and that uh, the, the old days the spies were, were shot in this country. That's how they were treated. So there was an implied threat there. And um, also had a chance to speak with Representative uh, Sean Patrick Maloney of the Intelligence Committee who says they are gathering that list of people they want to talk to and testify. That will happen shortly after the recess.